God bless you. Without love, we will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. That B word, L-O-V-E. You know, that's a, that's a word a lot of people say, but they don't show it. Oh, I got one with fun them happen. They say they love you, but yet they don't show it to you. And I'm here to tell you, love is God. Why do you think he did this? They ain't a single person in this church is perfect. Mm -mm. Nope. If you come up to me and tell me you perfect, we go into the lake because I want to see you walk on water. That's right. That's right. You be here and took your eyes off and you right. will sink. That's right. Come on now. Amen. Like I said, I'm in John chapter 8. Jesus, where are my glasses going? I got 20 20 vision for four miles off. I can't see nothing close up. Jesus went unto the Mount Olive, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. See, he was teaching them while they was on the, he was on this earth, teaching them what they're supposed to do, what they're supposed to, what God, his Father, has sent him here to do. That's right. But yet every time he started teaching him, they called him everything but the Son of God. Yeah, <coughs> and today, when you're a child of God, everybody look at you and watches you, whether you believe it or whether you don't, they are watching you everywhere you go and what you do. Look at one thing to backstab you against. All right. oh, I'm just telling you, the Christians spend more time praying than hunting something wrong with somebody. Praise God, this world will be a better place. Jesus has done for us. Amen. Glory to God. I'm telling you, I feel this here today. Hallelujah. I feel this here tonight. The scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in the dust. And when they had set her in the midst, they said unto the master, This woman was taken in a dust in the very act. Now Moses said the law commanded us such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? Come on now. Oh, Go ahead. glory to God. They wanted to stone her, didn't they? They wanted to stone her, didn't they? But what did Jesus say? He is here about love. Come on. I'm telling you right now, if God does not look upon sin. There will be no sin in the kingdom of heaven. All right. Glory to God. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you preach. But there will be no sin in the kingdom of heaven. Come on. Glory to God. I tell you, I feel this thing. Hallelujah. But see, he went out there and they was tempting him again. Come on. Trying to get him to do it their way instead of God's way. Instead of his father's way, they want him to turn around and do it their way. 
Come on now. Come on. They said tempting him. They were tempting him that he might have accused him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground. And though he heard them not. I'm here to tell you, Christian, I'm here to the child of God in here. I don't, I don't be shy. Praise God, stand up and wave your hands for God. I'm here to tell you, God don't see it. Praise God. I'm here to tell you, He didn't hear them. Praise God. Why are we here now? Come on. Glory to God. Why are we hear what Satan said now? Come on. Glory to God. Why are we listening to that rascal? He ain't going to give you nothing but a heart. Y'all don't have to watch out of me. If I run in one of them poles, that's not, I ain't going to get knocked out. I'm telling you right now, I know what my God can do. He has done it. He stooped down as he heard them knock. Glory to God. Praise his holy name. So when they continue asking, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him cast first cast a stone at her. That's right. How many stones have you thrown at somebody this week? How many stones did you throw at somebody last month? Glory to God. How many stones did you throw at somebody that you thought that needed to get back to that altar? Instead of praying for them, you got to a neighbor and you started talking about them. You started putting them down. Glory to God. You started putting them down and stomping them in the ground. I started getting to that altar. Praise God and praying with them. Hallelujah. Oh! I'm telling you, praise God, my Lord is real. Yeah, How many stones have you thrown in the last four years? My ears is not no trash can. I ain't got no glad bag over my head. I'm here to tell you, don't walk up to me telling me dirty jokes. You tell me what God has done for you. Tell me what God has done for you today. Tell me how much that he has made you eat beans. Had you a steak on the table. Had you some fried chicken. Had even old bologna. God gave it to us so he made a way to get it. He made a way to supply everything that we need. He has made a way for you to even walk today. He has made a way for you to get up off of that couch, get away from that TV, and come to God's house. He made a way. Why? Because you were determined to serve God. Don't let Satan come here and destroy your joy. I heard one lady. Said your Satan tried to stir your joy, steal your joy. Where are you at? Let me tell you something. It is a joy in serving the Lord, and yes. Satan cannot stand it because why? You're trying to do right, and he tried to pull you down just like he does everybody else. It is a joy in serving the Lord. Oh, glory. I remember when I first got back to the Lord, man, I wanted to go tell everybody. But you know, everybody's seen that either guy a bunny rabbit. Right in it. You put that little rabbit in there, that battery in that little rabbit, that little that pink natural going up down the road, all of a sudden it gets weak. Yeah. 
Oh, why? Satan's trying to steal your joy. That's right. Keep your badly charged. Yeah. Keep your badly fully charged. Let me yeah. tell you why. When you get on that old theology and you get down and you talk and tears coming out of your eyes and you talking to the Lord, I'm telling you right now, He'll even charge your battery. He'll make you feel good. And He'll tell you what you can do. That's right. He'll reach down and help you when nobody else will. That's right, brother. That's right. He's your best friend you'll ever have. Amen. That used to be my best friend I ever had right there. As long as I was in that honky tonk, by setting up the house, doing all this stuff like I used to do, boy, I had friends I couldn't keep up with. 